What's up, everybody? Happy Saturday. Hope you're having a good day today and getting some much-needed rest after the work week. I just wanted to sit down today and go over my top three we reasons why Void Linux cured my itch to distro hop. Um, not that I hopped like crazy like a lot of people do, but I did get the urge to hop here and there every now and then. You know, I switched from Mint to Manjaro to Arch to Arco back to Arch and then a couple of different distributions in between there. And once I came to Void, even though it was just for a long-term distro review, um, I have come to the conclusion that I don't plan on leaving. Um, even when I switched over to Artix to do a review of Artix, um, with as close as Artix is to Void, when my Void system borked because of my script mishap for Git, um, I tried to stick with Void or stick with Artix. Um, but I just couldn't do it. I had to rebuild my void system as quick as I could to get back over to void and get to where I feel like I'm home. Um, now I know that sounds stupid because again, I am a person who believes that distribution doesn't matter, uh, but I have reached a point in my Linux journey where I don't want to rebuild my system every few months because I want to try a new distro. Um, I do still enjoy configuring stuff on my system. I do still enjoy trying out different uh, different distributions which is why if you see here I've got a few different uh, uh, VMs here and more to come on those but um, when it comes to actually having my system up and running I just want to be able to boot up and go and just have something that I can trust is going to work for me and not have any issues and that's what I found with Void. Um, so I'm gonna go over the few reasons why I have decided that Void is that distribution. So if we launch my terminal here and we zoom in a little and we type in NeoFetch, you can see I'm running Void Linux. Um, I'm on an HP NB laptop. Uh, my kernel is 5.19.7-1, underscore one, excuse me. Um, I'm running Bash 5.1.616 uh, with the window manager Herb's Luth, which if you watched any of my videos, you know this is by far, hands down, my favorite window manager. Um, I'm running the Alacrity Terminal. Um, I have an AMD Ryzen 5 3500U uh, with Radeon Vega Mobile GFX. Um, my GPU is an AMD ATI Radeon Vega series. This is all included in my laptop. I didn't go out and buy anything for this. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of my system. Um, and again, running Void Linux and not planning on running anything but Void Linux from here on out. Um, so why is that? Well, the number one reason that is is because of this. If we man run it, the init system, this right here is the main reason I've stuck with Void. Um, it boots so amazingly fast. Um, compared to System D, it's it's night and day. Um, I'm not one of those people that had an issue with System D. Um, I didn't have any beef with it. I don't care that it's quote unquote bloated. I don't care that it doesn't follow the Unix philosophy like so many people complain about. Um, if that's your beef with it, that's fine. I'm not telling you you can't dislike it because of that. I'm just saying I don't have an issue with that. I didn't have an issue with it then. When I used it, I don't have an issue with it now. But I will say, run it, hands down, night and day better than system D in my book. Setting up services, it's as simple as installing the program, like if you want network manager or whatever else, you install the program, xpps dash install network manager dash run it, and then to actually get the service up and going, you just do an ln dash s, actually excuse me, you gotta do sudo ln dash s, and then you would do etc, and then you do sv, and then say you want a network manager. And then you would just link that into var slash service. Just like that, you hit enter, and now that system is set up to run. Now I know in system D, you can just type in um, system CTL enable, system CTL start, or if you want it system wide, you do sudo system CTL enable, sudo system CTL start. I know it's pretty simple in system D as well, but the issue I had with system D is a lot of times things would just stop starting on their own for whatever reason, or they would suddenly become inactive uh, when there was an update or something weird would happen. That's, that was my biggest, I guess, concern or complaint with system D was not that it was difficult or bloated or anything like that, but I had issues with services just deciding they're not gonna work for the moment. Then I have to go back in and restart them, re-enable them, whatever else. I have not had a single issue with Run It canceling or shutting the service down or services not working when I start them. Once they're started, they just run. 
and it has been spectacular. I love it. The fact that run it boots night and day faster than system D. My, my services stay running and I don't have any issues with them is just the main reason that I have stuck with Void Linux. And I know that uh, on Artix you can use the run it init system, which is what I installed when I used Artix, which is still on my system, by the way. But um, there's just other things on top of run it that have made me stick with Void. And so let's go ahead and go over those. One of those is documentation. This is probably the least, I guess, of the reasons why I stuck with Void because documentation is also a I hesitate to use the word complaint on void, but it is one of the issues I have on void. While the documentation is good, it's not great like the Arch Wiki. Um, I think you're going to be hard pressed to find a distribution with documentation as well done as Arch Linux. Um, it is just, I mean, there's no way around it. Arch, Arch is just some spectacular documentation. While Void Linux has good documentation, um, if you come to their website, voidlinux.org, you can click on the documentation tab. Um, they have the handbook here, which you can just scroll through and find what you're looking for, or you can run a search for it up here. Um, it does give you a basic and overall uh, description of what you're looking for and kind of a brief synopsis on how to use it. Um, you do have an installation guide, um, so you can find just about anything you need in here. It's just the comprehensiveness of the documentation for void is not nearly what it is on arch so that is probably the least of the reasons why i've stuck with it but it is a reason i've stuck with it because the documentation is good um, but that's my one quote unquote complaint is that the documentation is not great um, i guess that would be tied in with the fact that void linux is not as well known or as well used as arch which means when you are searching for issues and problems out there um, finding um, answers because it's not as well covered as Arch is a little bit more difficult but I will say when you find what you're looking for or you find the, the Artix or excuse me the Artix the, uh, the Void community um, compared to the Arch community is head and shoulders in my opinion more helpful um, the Arch community tends to have a bit more of the RTFM attitude um, which I've said in in comments and videos before, I'm not a fan of that attitude. If you think somebody's asking a stupid question, just don't answer them. Um, there's no reason to treat people like garbage and to, you know, um, treat people badly because you don't like the way they worded a question or you feel they didn't do enough work. If you're not willing to help them with a positive, good attitude, then just don't bother. Um, and that would end that whole issue. But what I've found so far on the Void community is just willingness to help, willingness to point out, or at least point people in the correct direction. Now, is there people out there that aren't helpful? Of course, there's just people like that in every, um, in every forum or distribution or whatever you're looking at. There, in, no matter what you're doing in life, there's going to be people that are just unwilling to help. Um, but it seems to be less in Void when compared to Arch. Um, so that's the, sec the third reason. The second reason is going to be the package management system. The XPPS package man management system is spectacular. Um, it's not as encompassing as Arch Linux, obviously. There's not quite as much in there, but the package management system is fast and it's comprehensive. And if there's not something in the main system, there's something here in the Void Linux source packages, which is akin to the AUR. So if you can't find something in the main repository, odds are pretty good it's going to be in the void source packages. And I have liked it so much, I wrote a script that if I do mod shift I, I have the void source packages that updates here and I can look for whatever package I want to find in here and install it straight from this script. Um, it is well done, it is well documented, and it is extremely useful. And it is very... Um, well documented on how to create a template yourself if you find something that's not in here and you want to try and create a template yourself. So again, the Void XPPS package man management system, spectacular, fast. I like the way the commands are broken down in it. Um, it's not one command with a bunch of flags you got to remember to install or remove or whatever. It's three different, um, or it's different actual programs it's, it's broken down into. So like if you're on Arch and you do sudo pack, man and you want to install you would do s 
if you wanted to remove then you would do R if you wanted to do whatever else if you want to do query then you would do pacman dash q if you wanted so you had to just do sudo pacman and then remember which flag you needed to do which well with xbps you would just do sudo xbps if you want to do install you would just do install if you wanted to remove you would do remove if you wanted to query you would do query so it's just it just makes it a little more intuitive like okay i want to install so i basically type xbps dash install um, it's just a lot a lot cleaner and a lot easier to remember um, and now there are flags in each of those if you uh, man xbps um, install so if you do man xbps dash install hit enter you can see if we scroll down there's flags down here that you can use with it but if you're just looking to install then you can just do an install um, and you can run it with like the s flag or whatever so it's going to sync the um, remote repository index files and everything so um, you don't have to use a bunch of flags with it but they are available if you want to do a, something a little more comprehensive but just remembering the command install is so much easier than remembering okay pacman which flag was it okay i think the flag was s now you might make the argument that you could just alias you know that to install or whatever and you can and that's great if that's what you want to do i personally don't prefer to go that route because if i'm ever on somebody else's system that doesn't have that alias then i have to try to remember okay what was the command again so whenever it comes to package management i try to leave um, aliases out of my package management and actually type out the full command so that way i can actually keep it in my memory and not forget about it but anyway that's a completely different story. Um, again, those are the kind of the three main reasons why I have stuck with Void, why I'm going to stick with Void, and why I think if you are looking for a good distro, while again, I don't believe distro matters all that much, if at all, um, I really suggest checking out Void Linux because um, it is a spectacular distribution. I believe it is far undercovered. I believe it is far underappreciated, and I believe um, if more people tried it, um, I think it would get a lot more love than it does. So, that being said, if you're looking for something to hop to and you want to give something a try, I highly recommend Void Linux. The install process is pretty simple when you download the installer. It's an NCurses installer, so it kind of walks you through everything. Um, it's pretty easy to do. Um, so yeah, go ahead and give it a shot. Try it in a VM, try it on hardware, whatever you want to do. But that's kind of my, my take on this and why I've stuck with Void and why I plan on sticking with Void. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and a great rest of your day. Just get that rest you need. Stay safe and God bless.